What in the blazes? I'm alive! I am alive! Oh, thank you! Thank you, stranger! <laughs> what luck to have this second chance! Oh, never again shall I take even a moment of my time for granted! Darling, I... And never again shall I step out onto that perilous roof of mine! Repairs? Ah! There's more to life than maintaining tiles. Look out, world! Here I come! Um, there, there. But I never got to say goodbye! Yes, well, I'll... Uh... I'll see what I can do. I'm... I'm... You're alive, yes. Now shut up. She has something to tell you. Oh, right. And, uh, who would you be, miss? Don't you recognize me, Bo? It's leave. Your love. I've, uh, never laid eyes upon you, miss. Lovely as you are. You must have hit your head when you died. Have you forgotten our passion? The life we built in this house? Look, Bo, where did you hide the treasure? Um, our treasure. Treasure? What treasure? Uh. Oh, oh, ha, 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 ha. Would you give it a rest?
keep bringing me back! To satisfy my curiosity, you, do you know her? Never met her before today! You, what is the meaning of all this? Uh... Where's my house key? You robbed me when I was dead! Fine! Yes! When I saw you fall, I thought, finally, I can take the valuables I know you've got stashed in your house. Maybe the house, too! Well, with all the moose spells around, you can keep your stupid key. Good day! Oh, leave me in peace, the pair of you! Ah! <laughs> Not so fast. Hand over the key. Fine! <laughs> You're clearly resourceful. Do you know of the crystal caves overlooking Uldar? There's shelter there. Other dwarves. You'll be safe. Then I'll be on my way. Here's your bloody key. And thanks, I suppose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Luck rubs off on me.
Any word from Rico? Trust! Let me go! What did I do to you? Eh? Hey, get back! Back! Let me be! I beg you! Please! Travel the bubble thing, she says. Paint all the signs to the shelters, she says. This points the way to a dwarven shelter. Travel the spoutal thing, she says. Paint all the signs to the shelters, she says. 
Risking my bloody neck every bloody day more like it. Painted a few too many of these, come to think of it. This way will take me to the dwarves. Ah, tried to sneak up on me, you frosty bastard. Not today, Jotun! You can't fool me with your shape-shifting, even in your current ugly form. Stand your ground! You address no Yolton, you sniveling sack of... Where did he go? And how do I get out of here? You Jotnar call us, and so vermin shall feast upon you. Good riddance, scum! Greedy, thieving 
your turn. No. Invading our land isn't enough. Now you have to pilfer everything we have. Best we burn the ice out of your blood, eh? When I get my hands on you. <laughs> new leather. I have bested your traps, coward. Now show yourself. I will make an enemy of Harvey, Lord of Asgard. Lord of Asgard. Yeah, right. And I'm Greedmark, King of Dwarves, freshly resurrected. Try harder, Yulton.
should light it up. Yotun has ever outsmarted my trap. Oh, oh crap. You're really not a Yotun, are you? Which means you're... The Lord of Asgard, yes. And in no mood for such trickery. Even though I must admit, I admire your cunning. You managed to fool me, if only for a brief moment. Many have tried, few have succeeded, even fewer lived to tell the tale. Who are you, dwarf? Bansky, they called me. Before the invasion, I was an artist. Some clever clogs reckoned I should paint all the signs to all the dwarf shelters. 
And that's how I found this empty shelter here. Thought I'd use it to get a little payback, you know? Teach some Yoltons a lesson. Admittedly, it's not the most efficient means of revenge, but every journey begins with a single step, eh? <laughs> Still, never thought I'd catch an Arseer in my trap. Ah, oh, unintentionally, I should point out. All you caught was my attention, and perhaps a tiny sliver of my respect. Then if you'll indulge me, what went wrong? What was the failure in my trap? The rats. I'll be happy to never see them again. But you had too few. A pack of wolves would be better. They'd make short work of your prey. Ah, yes, a pack of wolves. Very easy for a dwarf to catch and handle. Why didn't I think of that, eh? Get one to chase you down there. Every journey begins with a single step. You are far from the first trickster I've tangled with, and you have much to learn to be worthy of the title. Everyone's a critic. I have nothing more to say, but... You should look your prey in the eye. Let them know who has bested them. Ah, yes. Get within reach of someone, a far bigger someone, with an increasing desire to kill me. <laughs> what a terrific idea. In any case, I am no warrior. And this shelter here is all I have with which to fight back. All I have are my wits, my anger, and my shelter. Then what more do you need? Good hunting, Bansky. And to you! down there. Are you harmed? I'll live. I thank the stars you came by when you did high one. I thought that would be the end of me. Ah, it was nothing. Maybe for you. For me, it was everything. I'd have ended up like them down there. Here, a token of thanks. Huh? Oh, typical. I must have chucked my supplies in the sea. It's just not my day, is it? At least you live to tell your tale. And gratitude is payment enough. Well... Find me at the Grenhella shelter if you change your mind. Big cave, full of crystals. Well worth a look. My offer will still stand. And you want to find whoever's in charge of these corpses? Sounds like they're in the swampland, south of Atri. Interesting. But I make no promises. Uh, no, no one asked you to. Well then, I hope to see you at the Grenhella shelter.
the rear, you Alcar dog! You run like a cow! some of his great strength. Here is an anvil on which the greatest dwarven smiths work their art. Ivaldi's sons had made three mighty gifts for Loki, but my brother wanted more. So he went to their rivals, Sindri and Broker. He bet them they could not fashion free gifts greater still. If he won, he would keep the gifts. If he lost, they would take his head. He had no intention of playing by the rules. He transformed himself into a gadfly and set about biting Broker in the hope of distracting him. But Broker did not flinch, and their work was a wonder. A boar of living metal who gave off light in the dark and ran faster than any horse. Good and bursty.
Get me out of here, you bastards! You haven't got the stones to fight me, fairly. Come on! Hey, what? You die now! Help! Someone help me, please! You're safe now. I suppose I should thank you. Would have killed them all myself, of course. Why do you think they caged me up? Scared of me, they were. <laughs> that is one explanation. In any cage, uh, case, you should find somewhere safer than here. If not for your sake, then for any giants you may slay. You make a fair point. Still, you help me out, and where I come from, we repay acts of kindness. Meet me in the Hodder Shelter. You know of it. Great big treasury hall, yes? I'll sort you out with something. Oh, and if you're looking to smash a few more deserving skulls, this lot kept talking about their leader. Mean bastard, I reckon. If I remember right, sounds like you'll find them in a small valley by the swamps east of Abolvat Milna. Perhaps I'll seek out this leader of theirs. Then I shall look forward to hearing of your battle back at the Hodder Shelter. You make them bastards pay, eh? Good luck to you. It can't be coincidence. Those dwarves speaking of the same place. Time you returned. Were you seen? No, sir.
You're safe now. I suppose what that is. You make it make me. Oh, if I remember. It can't be coincidence. Those dwarves speak in the same place. Here? Are you all right? It is not safe to be out here. Not safe? Why, this town is the jewel of Swartofen. There is nowhere safer, I assure you. No, I, I merely seek a toy my son dropped. But no matter, he has more than enough at home. And I must get back. My wife will be wondering where I got to. Come. 
Walk with me a moment. I shall introduce you to my boy. He's always wanted to meet an Aesir. Now, I understand your concern. We too have heard the Moosebells are coming. But I failed to see what they could want in Svartalfheim. But they are already here, close by even. That is why I urge you to find shelter. <laughs> you, Asir. I have heard how you are famed for your sense of humor. Tell me, have you met Thor? We are very close, yes. My son, he loves nothing more than hearing of Thor's adventures. Uh, perhaps you could spare us a tale, if you have time. Let's keep moving. Oh, yes, of course. Where are your people? My people? Why, all around us. Probably looking at us from their windows. But pay them no heed. It's not every day an acid. What is it? Forgive me. I... I must have forgotten your name. Keep calling you Asir. Which feels quite rude of me. I have many names. My friends call me Javi. You may too. Oh. Thank you. Javi. A fine name. Let's get you home. Hmm? Oh. Yes. Yes. Here. My home is this next one. I must ask. Mind your step. <laughs> my wife only just potted the lovely plants this morning. And... Uh, and... Uh, do you... Do you see that? See what? Moose bells going into my home. No! What now? Think. Think. If not here... This toy hammer. Is this? Mjolnir. Yes. My son's pride and joy. <laughs> Tell me, have you met Thor? Uh, as I said, we are very close, yes. My son, he loves nothing more than hearing of Thor's adventures. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you could spare us a tale. If you have time, he should, uh, he should be here. Uh, any moment now, he should be here. My friend, you must leave this place. It is not safe, and I think you may know that, yes? Not safe? Why, this town... This town... This town is the jewel of... Uh... Forgive me, friend. I'll not be able to stay any longer. Please pass on my regards to your wife and son. Your... Leaving? Oh, but I'm sure there'll only be a moment. I must get back to my own son. I'm sorry. I understand. Of course. I hope you find that which you need. Find? Oh, yes. Uh, I was looking for something. Uh, I'm sure it'll turn up. Good luck to you.
see you steaming stack of shit! I'm with you! I'm flashing behind you! You're lucky they were terrible archers. Aye, and I'm lucky you're a far better fighter than these pieces of shit, High One. A fine display of your prowess. If you'll permit me, I'd repay your kindness. But these bastards burnt my pack to ashes. Stop by the Yorthegger shelter, and I'll find you something. Should I find myself there, then? Why not? If you seek a more formidable foe, this lot was saying their leader's not far. Reckon you could do us all some good and get rid of them. They kept saying something about two golden peaks in the east. Must be somewhere between them, I guess. Between two golden peaks in the east. Most curious. Aye. Well, you find them, you send my regards, yes? And by regards, I mean you lop off their head, yes? <laughs> in any case, find me at the Ordegger shelter. Can't promise I'll be sober, but... It'd be good to see you again. Another clue. And I think I know of where they speak. Torches fool! The one weapon that can fell a muspel in a single blow! What ails you, little one? By the might of Emir, you... You are Harvey of Asgard, yes? I had heard you were afoot, but never expected to lay eyes upon you! It's my hammer. A mighty hammer. Strong enough to tear a mountain in two. And by sheer accident, I tripped and threw it out there. If you can retrieve it... Then you may keep it, Harvey. A weapon of such strength cannot be ignored. Very well, I shall get it. Move me. Be my eyes. It is done. A trivial matter for the High One. Yes, I could see the lava was no problem for you. But... Oh, no! Oh, the hammer, it is damaged! Damaged? Yes, look closely. This crack in the shaft. You have passed the trial, High One. Trial? What trial? <laughs> This place is heavily guarded. Oh, my head. What the hell? Don't draw attention. Just get over here before it's too late. Psst. Hey! You there! Hasn't! 
Right. We've only got one shot at this, so listen, and listen good. What are you jabbering about? Who are you? What's happening? Unless you want me to tell this Moosebell who you really are, and while you're still helpless, I suggest you do as I tell you, and quickly. Helpless? You dare to threaten me? I'll throttle you through these bars. Shut up, or I'll shut you up! There's no time to explain. I'll lure the guard, you grab his key. Get us out of here, and I'll explain everything. Ready? Uh, what? Hey, you! Yeah, you! Come here! I got some information your chief is gonna want. Go on, then. Enlighten me. What drivel will you spout this time? Your mother stopped by last night. Paid me a visit. She died years ago, fool. Yeah. Good to go. Get up. We're leaving. Only if you promise to get me out, no matter what. I stay here, I'm dead. Tell me what's going on, or I'll kill you myself. The Moospells took me prisoner, threw me in here. Now, on the other side of that opening is a hall full of lava. I can't get out. Not on my own. But if you're in here with me, Lava's not a problem for you. Not according to our mutual acquaintance. The Jotun shapeshifter. The one who tricked me told me of a hammer that could split mountains. Ah, that old chestnut. Look, you want the real hammer? Pick me up, get me through that tunnel. Fine. into it. Come, Hyman. Time to go. Come, Hyman. One, the sweet aroma of freedom. And we have you to thank for it. What was your crime? Other than being a dwarf and fighting invaders? Fighting invaders? I'm a blacksmith by trade. Just before the invasion of our lands began, I single-handedly armed an army. Bravest dwarves you ever saw. Clans dropping long-held grudges. Joining to fight the Moospells and the Jotnar. Anyway, all came to nothing in the end. I was locked up, 
Told they'd let me out if I made weapons for the Moose Pals. <laughs> Told them I'd sooner die. Now, about that hammer. I know. Nothing more than a tall tale. And not a bad one. You did all this knowing there was no mighty weapon. I see now why they call you the High One. There he is! Safe at last, brother. I told you I would find someone who could help. Never thought I'd be so happy to lay eyes on that big ugly face of yours. You did well, brother. Ugly? <laughs> have you looked in the mirror lately? Father should have dropped you from the cliffs the moment your tiny screwed up face drew breath. <laughs> it's good to see you. Well, well, the Yotun will manage to fool me. And you are brothers. Aye. Brothers from another mother. Our father was Travi, the famed dwarven explorer who traveled the Nine Realms. Travi and my mother are dwarves. My half-brother here is half-dwarf, half Jotun. Half we have a sister who is half-dwarf, half Muspel. And another brother that is... well... half-bear. But that's another story. I see. Your father Travi was... very well-traveled. <laughs> he kept himself busy, that's for sure. You have our gratitude, High One. We shall drink to your honor for all time. Enjoy your freedom, and stay out of trouble, lads.
fuel my soul. Wrath be my name and purpose. Loki had failed once in his attempts to ruin the work of Sindri and Broker, but he had a mind to try again. Again he bit Broker, and again, over and over until the dwarf could stand it no more. But stand it he did, outlasting the full extent of Loki's mischief. from which eight more rings would fall like rain every ninth night. A font of endless wealth for Asgard's most righteous lord. My Jotun brother would have one last chance to spoil the works of Sindri and Broker. If he failed, it would cost him his head.
What is the problem? Uh, it's this cart. Stuck in the mud, see? And so, my sacred duty will never be fulfilled. Sacred duty? Well, that's right. In my family, when our days are nearly done, we hide our most beloved treasures behind waterfalls. Why? Because what is a waterfall with nothing behind it? A water fail, that's what. Of course, with moose bells everywhere, I cannot wait until I'm nearly in the ground. Think you could help me out? I'll pull the cart free. The cart? No. Lug this chest up those cliffs there. Much quicker if you do it. I'll make it worth your while. I'm actually very busy. Well, it'll take a mere moment. Found the perfect spot already. Right behind one of the waterfalls. Walk along that log, follow the path up the cliff, go through a little cave, and you'll find the right waterfall. You'll know you're in the right spot when you find the white flowers. Bring me a few, would you? So I know you managed to find it. Ah, white flowers. Very well. Oh, you are kind. I'll wait for you right here. My savior. Well then, do you have the flowers? I do. Here. Ah, oh, excellent. And, uh, you did put the chest where I asked, yes? Of course. Good, good. Then you have my thanks. My sacred duty is fulfilled. And my reward? Oh, the finest of all. Gratitude. And the satisfaction of a job well done. Uh.
Did the snakes get you? Are you well? No bites. Just tell me you made those bastards suffer. I hope you hurt them even half as much as the suffering they just caused. I'd be just as dead were it not for you. You find yourself in the Hodba shelter. Come and see me, so I can thank you properly. There is no need. Well, I respectfully disagree. These giants? There's another giant they answer to. Reckon maybe someone ought to pay them a visit. You want to find them? Then you'll want to look out for the mountain paths, north of Svarufosra, and be on your guard. Your desire for vengeance is noted. Should I venture north, I may seek out this leader and put an end to them. Then I shall make my way back to the shelter. Hope to see you again, stranger. Those dwarves spoke of the same place. I know where it is. Don't you! More leave! You have no business here! Don't bring us any Go trouble! Go away! We have enough misery here! Do not draw their eyes in! You! Leave! You have no business here!
Loki cut it off. Only Loki knows. But Thor was less than pleased. Loki wisely chose to make amends. A new head of hair for Sif, finer than the last. And so he set off for Svartalfheim. At Loki's request, evil these sons made for him tresses of the purest gold, which would fix to Sif's scalp and grow as real hair would. Loki had what he needed, but now that he had seen what the master smiths of Svartalfheim could do, he wanted more. <laughs> <laughs> 